These are the changing rooms. This is where we take off our togas. Yes, of course. That's what we have to do here. So the Romans bathe completely in the nude. Yes, exactly. And we do it the same way, not in Rome, but also here in Xanten. And we're going to do as the Romans did. Yes, wherever the Romans went to, they brought their culture with them. And bathing is very much a part of the Roman culture. It was more than just a place to wash up. Romans went to the bath to relax and socialize. Bathing was at the heart of Roman city life. This was going to be a treat. I had a feeling Peter's Roman bath clogs would come in handy given the hot floor. Entering the hot room, I was surprised how much heat the Hippocorse could generate. Peter pointed out an essential component. The Romans invented double pane glazing, so they had an outer pane and an inner pane and keep the heat in the room. And this would serve to keep the room warm all through the year? Yes, exactly. So you could even have a bath in winter time. Everything was in here very nice and warm. Can we give it a try? Yes, let's try it. This is a delightfully warm bath, Peter. Is it heated by the same system that heated the floor and the vault? Yes, there's a testudo over there. Testudo means turtle. Exactly. The amazing thing about the Hippocaust is that while it heats the floor and the walls, it also heats the bath water. A hollow receptacle called testudo sits directly over the fire in the furnace. It opens into the bath, and by way of convection, the cold water sinks and the hot water rises. The cold water circulates into the furnace where it is heated, and then flows back into the bath. A clever adaptation of a basic scientific principle. What most astonishes me is the sheer effort they put into having a good bath. The energy, the technology, the time and the money that went into having a bath. Why was that? Well, it's not just part of the culture, it's not just part of the social life, it's very much part of hygiene. So it's an issue of public health as much as anything else? Exactly.